Hi, I have in front of me a 4K HDMI input selector. This model here is a five um, input uh, single output unit. Uh, it's exactly the same specification really in terms of design, regardless whether it's three, four and five. So we're trying to cover it all in one video here. Um, so if we just come along here, uh, we'll see that it's marked 4K, or to be more specific, it's 4K by 2K, which is uh, really the, the 1.4 standard. Uh, it supports 3D as well, and sometimes our supplier has changed, but this is our main uh, model now. But basically, the specification regardless would be identical. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give an overview of exactly what you're going to get, and then I'm going to give an overview of how it operates, okay? Um, it's available with free to delivery from freetv.ie and the reason people that use it probably is a good thing to cover first of all is that you have a number of um, devices, we'll say a satellite box, a DVD player, a few other things and you want to um, have all of those connected uh, to a single TV and what you do then is you feed them all into the, uh, the switch or selector here and then you can choose which of the inputs you're going to output to the set-top box or to the television. So it comes in this outer box here with a user manual, which is in English, with a three pin plug, and the output in this is five volts, one amp. We have a remote control, which people can use, and this is choosing which of the five inputs, in this case, we're going to use. And then we'll just move to the main event here. So we have the unit itself, it has a display on the front of it, and it also has a manual way of selecting which of the inputs we're going to use. We'll demonstrate this working in a few moments' time. So on the output side, we have this, we're going to run a HDMI lead from this directly to the TV. So there's always only one output on a selector. And on the input side, we'll see in this case there's five, but there could be three, four or five in the range that we have. And we have the power unit, and we'll actually just push this power unit in here, power it up anyway. So if we imagine, we'll say we'd have an Android box here, a, a 4K um, Sky box here, a... Um, you know, a free-to-air thing, a DVD player, or something like this. So we have them all connected up along. So what we've got here is we actually have two devices connected uh, at this point. So we're just going to demonstrate for the ease of the video. So it's an Android device uh, here, and that's on uh, input one. So we can see L1 is lighting up here, and we have a high-definition satellite receiver here on two. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show the manual inputation here. So I'll just hit the button here, it'll flick over, and it's blank for a second and what the pop up now is we have um, our high definition satellite receiver there coming in. So I want to go back to um, input one. I could work my way around by click, click, click. It'll bring it back eventually. If we've got the five, it'll come back to input one. Or if we do it directly from here, I can just hit L1 and I'll just flick it over and I'll see the Android menu back up in, here in a moment's time. So that's it anyway. So uh, it's a really neat device. We have the 4K version and we have the, the older, um, just the HD version. Uh, both are proven to be very popular and all uh, of our HDMI uh, things that, like this are available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie.